Cool. Yeah, ready when you are. What we're going to do is we're going to um, put a, a wigwam up for this bucket with beans in it. So if you've got a small garden or you're limited with space, you can grow any veg in buckets really. So, but the, obviously they're climbing beans, so they need a support system. So I'm just going to show you how to give them a, a solid climbing frame. So what you need is a drill and just put four holes in the bucket. Careful not to uh, drill through your plants. <laughs> So just on opposite side, isn't it? Yeah, just yeah, directly opposite one another. So you've got four holes all together. And then what you need is two short pieces of cane and we feed those through the hole and cross them over in the middle. Sometimes they're a bit stiff to get through, but that's gone through okay. And then you'll find you've got, if you've cut them to size, you've got about a, an inch and a half sticking out each end. So what you need to do, just so they don't keep pulling out, a little bit of string, just secure them in the middle. So tie them together in position in the middle. It's a bit fiddly, but... Yeah, so you have to work around plant leaves, don't you? Yeah. So? Make sure that you've still got the cane sticking out equally at each end of the bucket, each side of the bucket, and just tie it together and then we'll just snip off the loose ends just going to secure that a bit more yeah Oops. That's, that's not going anywhere now right so i'll just so what we need to do now then obviously we've got the four canes to make the wigwam for the beans to climb up so if we just make sure that the ends are level at the bottom there. And then what I'm going to do is tie these together about a foot from the top. Yeah. Slightly more possibly. It doesn't have to be too tight, just so long as they're, they're held together. I mean, you can do this on your own, but it, it is easier if there's two of you. And then once they're secured, we're going to attach them to the other canes. That's it. Brilliant. Right. So we're over here now then. So we've got the uh, cross section tied into the bucket. We've tied the top of the cane, four canes together. So all we need to do now is just place these around the outside of the bucket. And that will form your wigwam. And then on each one, you're gonna tie your cane onto your cane that's going through the bucket. What you've got to make sure you do is wrap it tightly round both canes so you're actually securing them together. Put the odd twist in or the odd knot just to... Oops, that snapped. Typical, isn't it? Let me take that off. So what you've got to make sure you do is that you wrap your twine round both canes and then... <sighs> jump in now. <laughs> that is a blooper, isn't it? <laughs> the third time lucky. So what I need to do is wrap your twine around both canes and make sure it's nice and tight and secure it with a knot. Obviously making sure that your cane's anchored to the floor. I'll just put another knot in that. You know, I've, I tied all of them and not, not at once. That can lived. you get like thicker twine or is it just... Yeah, you can get... I mean, this this will only last a year because it's, yeah. it's like proper Essien. Um, but that's better because you can get like plasticky type stuff, but we don't want to use plastic. And obviously it's a danger to wildlife. So if you can use natural materials that will biodegrade, that's, just, that's fantastic. Yeah. And you only need it for the one year anyway. You can just refresh it next year. Just do the last one. That's last one to do. What I've done is I've tied them all to the same side of the cane. So oh, you've no. got an even, an even split. But yeah, so... That's on the right side. And then, yeah. yeah. Like I say, it's quite a, a space-saving method of growing beans because you get, you'll get a lot of beans just off of three plants or four plants. You know, you probably get enough for a family of four over the season. Um, the more you pick, the more you get. And that's it. That's quite sturdy now. Mm -hmm. 
I would I would be inclined to put them somewhere where they're sheltered. Obviously, you put you could put a brick in the bottom of the uh, bucket to put some more weight in. But if you've got plenty of crockery, in the, you know, broken pots and stuff to, for drainage, um, there should be quite a bit of weight in there. And keep the compost moist as well, and that's obviously weight. But once they get up the top of the the canes, the beans, yeah, I would I would try and keep them somewhere reasonably sheltered. Nice, that's really cool. Yeah. Thank you.